Dr. Stanley Roberts, who found some people behaving badly. When tourists come to San Francisco, they often take photos of the Golden Gate Bridge or maybe even Alcatraz. However, residents of the city take photos of, let's just call them, different things. What did you just do? I uh, took Instagram photos uh -huh. of syringes in the tenderloin. Inside this fence, there are about a half a dozen, some uncapped, syringes in plain view. A few blocks away, even more. But this isn't a story about dirty needles. It's a story about dirty, strike that, make that filthy streets in San Francisco. What Case in point, over? this is Jaime. He lives in the south of Market Street district. And this is what he found outside his front door. So I asked to move it because it was on my porch in the door and they refused, very aggressive. And they said, who are you? Where do you come from? I said, well, you put your care. Jaime said this pile of trash, shopping cart included, slowly traveled down the street and ended up at his front door. Back over in the Tenderloin, finding household furniture in the streets is not uncommon, and some electronics as well, like this old school computer monitor, perched atop a fire hydrant. I had to Instagram that myself. This illegally discarded couch was soon flipped over and converted to an impromptu bed for this guy. One lady I spoke to off camera tells me she witnessed some people tossing garbage out their apartment window. I know the city spends millions of dollars a year trying to keep the streets clean, but sometimes it looks like a losing battle. I asked one man, why is there so much trash on the streets? And without even pausing, he said, this is a tenderloin. I wish I had a clever response, but I didn't. But I can tell you, if you see trash, pick up your phone and dial 311. In San Francisco, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News.